Okay, good morning folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Friday the 11th of September. Um, well, what a day yesterday, and not for the right reasons. Uh, good forecast by all accounts, but it just didn't materialise. Uh, so a very busy day with uh, a lot of probably disappointed pilots that the day didn't turn out uh, as forecast. Um, let's see what we got today then. Well, a little nose of high pressure. I just show you here the one that was supposed to give us all the nice weather yesterday just slowly disappearing as the fronts creep their way down from the north there's quite a lot of rain on this second cold front here a small line of rain just in the north northern part of england and across wales just at the moment and as that goes on it comes further south dries itself out and probably by the time we see it uh, tomorrow it'll be a cloud feature as it passes through timing on that uh, suggests um, it's here during the morning tomorrow and then clearing through by the afternoon so possibly something tomorrow afternoon winds today they've gone back um, to a westerly direction 270 to the south of us at 10 knots uh, to the north they're talking about 240 perhaps a little bit stronger 15 knots most forecasts it's saying 20 here on the ground uh, but Gatwick Heathrow saying 250 10 knots uh, so not quite westerly not quite southwesterly sort of halfway between the two really but fairly light uh, for most of the day sat pick shows um, of upper cloud the stuff we've got over us at the moment um, is not thick um, but it is moving away there's a gap here where the temperatures are, are going up and that'll come across us fairly shortly and then the further you get towards the cold fronts which are really here and across northern ireland and ireland here um, slightly more thickening cloud in that direction but slightly better air by the looks of it moving further west now temperature wise bbc and everywhere else suggesting about 19 degrees today over most of us in the south of england um, probably got to about the same yesterday dew points again look very similar as well they're currently uh, about eight in most places going up a little bit as you would expect then they'll start dropping back down so i think dew points um, will be down around the seven mark when it does get soarable uh, later on this morning or possibly about lunchtime it's one of those september days where it it doesn't heat up as quickly at this time of year and it just takes a little bit longer to actually get going and get some sort of mixing so soundings are showing a number of things strong inversion uh, starting at around about three and a half thousand feet and a reasonable space between the sort of temperature and dew point temperature and as the day goes along that doesn't change too much the, the red line moves slightly to the right so if you plumb in 19 degrees um, should get somewhere around three and a half thousand feet the lark hill sounding for this morning shows the same sort of thing what you've got here is a very very strong inversion sat here and it would have to get pretty warm 22 23 24 degrees start punching past that and moving it up um, but at the moment we've got this cloud trapped in here and any cloud we we do get today uh, around us will be trapped under here um, little bits have spread out but i think it's more than likely going to be blue over us for most of the day uh, better chance of cumulus further to the west because the dew points and temperature are a little bit closer together 
and that's shown on on top medio they're saying getting going probably around about 12 o'clock going to 3,000 feet and then as the day goes on it doesn't really go much higher than that 12 1300 meters so three and a half thousand feet at best and pretty much the same all afternoon in this area here between us and and oxford and cloud amounts they're not showing really the overcast that we've got at the moment but they are showing that further north and west you are likely to see cumulus and i think that's the effect of the changing air mass with the cold front so by two three o'clock in the afternoon we might see some cumulus here certainly see some cumulus to the west um, and that's the case in the after late afternoon with cumulus here but as i say it's not likely to be much above three and a half thousand feet uh, for today should go on soaring start maybe midday should go on till about five o'clock at the latest uh, but not a great day folks not a strong day it's a, a typical autumn day um, leisurely thermals uh, and a, a shut off let's say about five because remember it is getting dark before eight o'clock now okay so operationally we're on two seven uh, just come out to the runway and we'll give you a launch if you want to go flying later on today no forecast jet movements i've not seen any um, flight plans yet but don't be surprised if we don't get something in terms of local airspace uh, not really a lot going on today little risington of notam their usual parachute drop zone and cone um, and that's all day right up till virtually midnight Salisbury Plain Danger Area, they've activated it up to two and a half thousand feet from 16.30 this afternoon till midnight. Um, something to do with parachuting later on because there's a no time for parachuting into that danger area tomorrow. And apart from that folks, there's only aerobatics at Little Gransden, which is just west of Gransden Lodge. So fairly quiet when you filter out all the NOTAMs for gliding sites and paragliding. Right, so we may see you out at the runway today. If not, possibly tomorrow. Sunday's looking possibility warmer. Um, but I think the, the air mass looks like it's stabilising out um, from then on. So worth looking a few days ahead just to see any opportunities that might pop up.